What's up, YouTube? This is another video write-up for the challenge Tilted Troop for 40 points in the binary exploitation category of TJCTF. The challenge prompt here is, can you help us defeat the monster? It gives us a binary and some source code to work with, and a actual remote uh, netcat source or service we can connect to. So I can download these with wget, and I've got them all set up already, so let's check out the source code. What this thing actually does what if we connect to it with netcat is it gives us options as to what commands we want to run or work with and we can add supposedly a team member to do different things and fight a monster after we've added a certain amount of team members so um, this will continue to increase our strength as we add more team members but it will never let us get to 400, supposedly, um, because we need exactly 400. We are only incrementing by a small amount each time. So let's check out the source code for real. It says the maximum team size we can use is only eight actors or characters with that goal of 400, like we've seen. And it stores them in a struct here, a struct team with uh, each character's names. Uh, again, only limited by the amount of team members you can have. The strength of the total team. Interestingly enough, that is a car array, not an integer total, but interesting. Uh, team size, and of course, that may just be the current be the team size as you are growing them. So the fight function, as you saw with the F command, that is what al is allowing us to determine whether or not we have reached the goal. If we do reach the goal of 400, we get the flag. Otherwise, it gives us that error message that we saw earlier. All this does is it's, this takes a sum uh, while it's going from an I iterator up to the team size. So it should be 8 in this case. And the main function will actually read in some input over and over again with a team that we've created, supplying the default values, okay, zero for the team size, creating the strength, etc. And we can see the commands that we can run. It will evaluate these as we enter them, and if we actually want to add a team member, it'll check if our team size is greater than the max team size. It will say, okay, you can't add any more, otherwise it will go ahead and add it. So... Obviously, F will fight, Q will quit, etc., etc. An interesting thing to note here is that this line, if team size is greater than max team size, well, our team size is 0, and our max team size is 8. So we kind of have an off by 1 error here, because this will also still run if 8 is equal to 8. So we could potentially add 9 team members here. This won't actually fault us until we have 9 is greater than 8. So that means that when this runs with team size acting as the number 9, we could potentially get a random number again, modulus 10, so that explains why we weren't able to get other th more than 400 or were iterating slowly. Um, but actually this T names with T dot team size, if this is going to be 9, then we're going to overwrite the null character or the kind of the end of the, the boundary of this T names like character array. So we could potentially, in the struct here, leak onto the strength variable, and that will allow us to get to that goal of 400 here. So let's go ahead and start to write an attack script. And I'm just going to do this with the remote source. I'm going to turn the log level off so we can just kind of see the output of the service we're connecting to. connect to the host and port. Let's actually see what we have to work with once we receive here. Looks like we just get our prompt, good. So let's add nine character members, or eight to begin with. We can s.sendline a and anything in this case, because let's actually try and fight and see what this will tell us. team had 37 strength, but you only needed 400. Okay, so now if we were to add one more, what would happen? Whoa, we have team of 866 strength, but that depends on what we actually send it. So, okay, you can see the characters here are being added because we are leaking over into that strength variable, and we're iterating through it only eight characters-wise because of this team size var variable, right? That limits this loop to add on the strength characters about eight times. So we want to be somehow reaching this 400 with only eight potential characters. Let's actually just 
open that up in idle, see, can we actually get 400 cleanly with eight? Maybe. Let's try, what is the character of that? 52, the number two. So if we send eight characters of the number two, will we get 400? Two times eight in this case. It says, oh, wow, your team is strong. Here, take this flag. Okay, so we did get it just like that. We could choose potentially anything less than eight. Like, I think, what is it? What is 400? What is 100? D? Yeah, D is 100. Okay. So if we were to send four Ds, we would still get the exact same result, and we would get our flag. So awesome. That is how we can take advantage of that off by one error and get the flag, in this case, and solve for however many points that was on Pico CTF, 40 points, or I'm sorry, for TJ CTF, for Tilted Troop. All right, let's go ahead and save that, mark that challenge as complete. And we are done. Hey, I want to give a special shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. You guys are fantastic. One dollar or more on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. Five dollars or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live. If you did like this video and you want to see more CTF video write-ups or programming tutorials, other stuff that I do, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server, link in the description. It is an awesome community of other CTF players, programmers, and hackers. And I would love to see you on Patreon, but I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.